Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here, Michigan Treasure Hunter. Back to another video. Uh, in this video, we're going to be doing an estate sale haul from uh, Pickers Estate Sales. Well, they advertised it, and I went there. There was about probably 40 people there on the first day, and then about 30 people there on the second day. I went two days, and it was pretty much fill a box, and they give you a price, and you can negotiate with them. I spent $125 between the two days, and I got all this stuff I'm about to show you. I should make a really good profit on it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, make sure you leave a thumbs up rated and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks, and let's get right into it. All right, so here we are. Here's all the stuff I got from that estate sale for $125. Uh, let's get right into it. Uh, we'll start over here. This is a came in the original foam packaging. It's a Franklin Mint right here. Franklin Mint collector's knife. It's got a really heavyweight, really nice knife right here. You can see it's from the Franklin Mint. Brass Eagle. Super cool. Shook it around $30 to $50 for that. Here is a Leatherman PST multi-tool. It is from 2001 and is new in the back edge. These are actually collectible now. I was looking up the solds on eBay and they're selling for around $150. So that's super cool right there. We got three inbox and television games. We got Las Vegas... Poker and Blackjack, Space Battle, and Astro Smash. These aren't worth terribly much, about 15, 20 bucks, but still a good buy. We got this Logitech Quick Cam. This is worth about $12. Like I said, it, there was like 40 people there in a small house, so you're throwing stuff in a box, so you don't have time to research anything. Oh, this is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles party, party wagon from, where is it? There it is. 1989. Super cool find right here that should sell for around $20. Uh, we got this Honer Chrometa 8 Harmonica made in Germany. Right here. Super cool find. Should sell for around $40. We also got this Honer. This is a Marine Band Harmonica made in Germany. That one should sell for around $25. We got two other cheapies that I just threw in the box because I didn't know how much they were worth, but I figured they weren't worth much because they were made in China. But a blues band by owner and then a pocket pal by owner. Those sell for about 10 bucks a piece. I got this Calibri lighter. There's the model right there. It sells for around $20. It's also got a circle cutter on it. Pretty cool. It's got the monogram right in. Cool find there. Uh, we got this 300 channel um, police scanner handheld by Unidin. There's the model right there. Sells for around $30 on eBay. Cool find. Oh, this is a cool find. We got this John Deere uh, 1980s hat. Oh, dropped it here. And it's, uh, it's new with tags. It's from the 80s. So I listen to this one super high. I listen to that 150 year best offer. It's already got a watcher, so we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. I got two of these Star Trek phaser mouses sealed in the package from 97. Got two of them. We'll sell for around 15 a piece. <clears throat> I got this Iron Man CD ROM comic book from 95. Should sell for around $10. Got a couple of pieces of silver. Here is a, a charm bracelet. It's old. It's vintage. It's from like the 80s probably. But it's almost two ounces. It's got like horses and dogs on it. And a frog there. It's pretty cool find. I listed this one super high. There were some of them selling for around... Some of them selling for around 200 250 So I listed mine at 300 or best offer. We're going to see what happens. I also got this Bison Native American... Little pen, as you can see, it's Mark Sterling right there with a the maker's mark. Cool find right here. Should sell for around 50 plus dollars. Well, I'm just gonna grab a drink real quick. Alright, I got this, um, <clears throat> this Electro Brand Serio Cassette Player. New in package. I, that should sell for around $12. <clears throat> I got this Sony, my first Walkman. 
it is coming apart right there a little bit, but it still should sell for around $40 to $50. That's a pretty rare piece right there. On uh, this Wilson Sport Radio I got, this one should sell for around $12. Not a huge sale, but it adds up, you know. I got these uh, Viewmaster slides. There's about 20 of them in there. It's a bunch of like Disney movies and kid stuff. And it came with the 3D viewer right here. And the Mattel. Mattel right there. Mattel viewer from 2002. Those are, I'm doing an auction on those. I don't know how much those are going to sell for. I also got this Kobe sports cassette player radio. There's the model right there. This one should sell for around $40. Uh, let's see. I got one piece of clothing from that estate sale. So here it is right here. It's a uh, full zip wool and nylon wool rich Sherpa line jacket. Really nice piece right here. It should sell for around, I'd say $50 plus dollars. Probably closer to 60 I got this Radio Shack police scanner. There's the model right there. Tested and worked in this one should sell for around $25 to $35. I got this Magnavox the box cassette player uh, bottles right there. This one should sell for around twelve to fifteen dollars. And I think I missed. Yeah, I got these down here. So these are Barbies from nineteen sixty six. As you can see right here, Mattel nineteen sixty six. And this was the same thing. So I don't know much about Barbies, but since they were so old, I just threw them in the box and. We're going to see what the worth. I'm going to do an auction on them. Alright. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed what I got. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you learned something, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. And if you like videos like this, uh, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. So, have a good day.